Hey what's up guys, welcome to my channel, it's Kai here and today we're doing a list of top 15 awesome indie games still to come in 2021 and beyond. Starting off at 15, we have Wolf Strike, a single player monochromatic comic style JRPG about building giant robots to fight it out in an awesome turn based giant mecha showdown. The game stand out with its unique style of artwork and also seems to have a bit of quirky sense of humor. And needless to say, the fight looks real badass. It's been developed by Brazilian indie game studio and planned to be published by Raw Fury Games sometime soon in near future. And if you like turn-based combats and a bit of role-playing gameplay, this game looked like a promising one to look forward to. With the game coming to Steam, later this year in 2021. Next on the list we have Cloud Jumper, a chill relaxing exploration adventure game set somewhere in the sky. In this game, you take the wheel of a tiny flying tugboat as you explore various floating islands and meet different characters with ancient secrets to discover in a beautiful, vibrant, pixelated world. This game is both deemed, developed and published by Hyperluminal Games, an indie game studio based in Scotland. But with no set date on release date, it could be coming end of the year or early next year. Up next on the list we have Trancy Ruby, a single player 2D metroidvania style platformer showcased during Indie Life Expo a couple of months ago with colorful pixel graphics. In this game, you start as a cyborg protagonist named Sirubi as you hack and slash and shoot your way through a mysterious landscape to reveal its hidden secrets. The game is set to be released in autumn of 2021 and is being developed by Japanese indie game developers and planned to be published by Fly High Works Games pretty soon later this year. At number 12, we have adorable little game of Here Comes Nico, a cozy 3D adventure game about Nico in this vibrant world full of happiness and cuteness. You play as Nico as you explore around the island, make new friends, solve puzzles and quests in this laid-back, chill adventure game. This charming game is being developed by Frog Vibes, an indie game studio based in Netherlands, and published by Gears for Breakfast, with the set date to release on August 3rd, 2021. Up next on the list we have Power World, a multiplayer role playing game where you can befriend and collect mysterious creatures called Pal in this vast open world. This game takes much inspiration from games like Pokemon and combine it with farming simulation games like Stardew Valley where you can make pals fight, breed, help with farming or even work in factories.
This game is being developed and published by Japanese studio Pocket Pair Inc. coming sometime in 2021 without any set date for release so far. Up next at number 10 we have Loop River, a procedurally generated fast paced roguelike dungeon crawler combined oddly with Tetris like gameplay mechanics. In this game you shift the tiles of ruin that you're standing on to solve Tetric kind of puzzles while fighting a fast paced hack and slash combat. The game is a roguelike dungeon crawler. Meaning, every time you die, you start from the beginning with different monsters, pathways, and items randomly generated to keep it fresh and challenging at the same time. This game is both being developed and published by Straka Games, an indie game studio based in Slovakia, but without any set date for release yet so far. At number 9, we have Hyper 5, a retro arcade inspired sci fi shoot em up game with fantastic looking quality graphics and action packed gameplay. This game is inspired from 90s classics games like Space Invaders, where the shoot em up subgenre was originally created back in the days. So the developers wanted to pay tribute by making retro style side scrolling shooter with high definition realistic graphics. The game is being developed and to be published by Hyper Production with the release date set around end of 2021. Next on the list we have Song of I Am a 2.5D action adventure platformer that looks very promising and personally I've been following this game quite a while for myself. In this game you will explore ancient and mysterious landscapes as a Nordic warrior journeying through forests, caves and dangerous mountains to seek vengeance for your ancestors. In this dark fantasy adventure with gorgeous looking graphics, you can use a bow, shield and an axe to fight your way through most ferocious foes, but with also the option to go stealth as well when there's too many to fight it off. This game is both being developed and published by Resting Relics, a solo indie game studio owned by Joe Winter, a long time game developer and artist, and set to be released on August 31st. 2021 coming to Steam and Xbox is exclusive. Up next at number 7 is a unique one, Fire Girl, a single player 2.5D action adventure about young rescue officer armed with trusty axe and high pressure fire hose that also acts kinda like a jetpack. I've never played a firefighter game before personally and this could be a real different feel with firefighting and rescuing civilians instead of killing monsters and stuff like that. This game is being developed by Dejima and to be published by Thunderful Publishing without any set date for release so far, so we probably have to wait and see on this.
at number 6, the long-awaited sequel of 2015 game. Axiom Verge 2 is a 2D single-player Metroidvania adventure about Indra, a multi-billionaire working for a Globe 3 conglomerate. The gameplay seems to be similar to the first game, but with much improved graphics and with a number of mechanics added to the game looking like a more polished and fun game to play. This game is both being developed and published by Thomas Hap Games, and release date is set to be released sometime in 2021, coming to PC and all gaming consoles. Next at number 5 is Game Deck, a single player non comeback cyberpunk isometric RBG where you play as a game detective Experience who solves crimes inside a virtual world. A game detective in a cyberpunk world. This game is set in the future in 22nd century in Warsaw City where technology has reached a point of being able to create virtual worlds for people to hang out. At number 4 is reimagined farming sim game coming this year, Coral Island. It is a modern take on usual popular farming simulator with a bunch of new features added to the game. The game lets you do the usual farming with also ability to go and dive around the coral reefs to save endangered marine wildlife. The game also looks very polished in terms of graphic and charming artwork of the game. And it is being developed and published by Stairway Games, an Indonesian indie game studio set to be released sometime later this year. Up next at number 3, we have a very unique looking game. It's a single player Metroidvania adventure game, Iron Corbo, Kung Fu Janitor. I saw this game being showcased at Indie Life Expo a couple of months ago and I thought it looks really fun and different, so I wanted to include it in my list today. You play as Corbo, a janitor with some kung fu fighting set in a cyberpunk, sci-fi kind of looking place. There's not much to know about this game other than it is being developed and published by solo indie game developer 2D OS games with a set date some coming soon next year.
At number 2, we have Batora, Lost Haven. A single-player adventure, hack-and-slash shooter in a non-linear, story-rich action RPG. In this game, you play as Avril, as she discovers secrets and innate gifts within and she will have to use them all to save her devastated planet in a cosmic battle. This game is being developed by Stormine Games with the release date sometimes in 2022. At last, at number 1 on the list is Track 2 Yomi, a breathtaking monochromatic 2.5D adventure in feudal Japan about a young swordman, Hiroki, making vows to his dying master to protect his town and people against all sorts of threats. This game is inspired from classic samurai films back in the days and it is definitely do justice with quality breathtaking camera angles which looks more like a movie than a game. Track to Yomi is being developed by Flywide Hawk Games based in Poland and to be published by Devolva Digital with the release date sometime in 2022. That's it on the list of 15 awesome indie games still to come in 2021 and beyond. Let me know in the comment below which games would you like to play from the list or did I miss now any games that you want to play. If you like this sort of content, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.